density and relative density. Let us see some problems. Problem 1. 5 kg of material A occupies 20 cm cube, whereas 20 kg of material B occupies 90 cm cube, which has the greater density A or B. We need to find out the density of A, which is mass of A by volume it occupied. And mass of A is given as 5 kg and volume is 20. So, this is 1 by 4 which will be 0 0.25 kg per centimeter cube. Basically, it should be either kg per meter cube or grams per centimeter cube. So, we will convert this kg into grams. So, this becomes since 1 kg is 1000 grams. This becomes 250 grams per centimeter cube. This is the density of A. Now we will find out density of B which is Mb by V. B. It says 20 kg by V is 90 centimeter cube. 2 by 9 becomes 0 0.22 kg per centimeter cube convert it into the gram per centimeter cube. So, this becomes 220 grams per centimeter cube. This is dB. We understand from the values of dA and dB, dA is greater than dB as 250 is greater than 220. So, if the density of A is greater than density of B, then we know that the object made of A is heavier. So, that is the property. If the density of an object A is greater than density of an object B, then A is heavier. Let us see problem 2. A half kg sheet of tin sinks in water, but if the same sheet is converted into a box or boat, it floats. Why? First of all, why this tin sheet sinks in water? Because the density of tin is greater than density of water. Since the density of tin, D of tin, is greater than density of water, the sheet sinks in water. This is the first understanding of the problem. Now, the same sheet is converted into a box or boat. What happens when the sheet is converted into box or boat? And they use the same sheet, that means mass and volume is the same. When it is converted, then what happens? The air gets trapped. So, the trapping of air in the box or boat makes it its average density lower. So, what happens now the density is the density of the tin plus the density of the air. So, the average density reduces. Average density is of tin and air. Now, this average density is less than D of water. Therefore, it floats box or boat made of the same tin floats. Problem 3. You have a bag of cotton and an iron bar, each indicating a mass of 100 kg when measured on a weighing machine. In reality, one is heavier than the other. Can you say which one is heavier and why? So, we are given a bag of cotton and an iron bar. 
and in reality we can say that with our practical knowledge iron is heavier and why we need to prove if you take the density of cotton mass by volume here the mass is 100 kg and volume of cotton is extremely large because we know that the cotton occupies much more volume in the same manner the density of iron bar mass by volume mass of the iron which is again 100 kg because the mass is the same and volume of iron bar when we see this we know that volume of cotton is much much larger than volume of iron so if volume of cotton is higher than volume of iron what will happen to the density density of cotton because volume is in the denominator it's inversely proportional to volume so d of cotton becomes much smaller than d of iron hence if the density of cotton is less than density of iron or density of iron is greater than density of cotton iron weighs heavier whenever the density of a substance is greater than density of the other substance and the substance whose density is higher weighs heavier